But you really gotta dig deep into the why. Why am I doing this? Why is this important to me? His relentless fight out here on the course is the same relentless fight that he's got towards this disease. You look at ultra marathoners, they move their bodies, right, over the longest distances they can. They reflect on what they're doing and the fact that kids with Duchesne will never be able to do that. There's just something strong that, that can't be explained. There's this feeling of, I can, you know, for those who cannot. You can't tell that man no. It's just, it is what it is. He's gonna do it, whether you like it or not. If he thinks it's gonna help his son, don't, don't get in his way. The, the guy just doesn't stop. To put ourselves through this because someone else can't, it speaks volumes and I think that spreads the word. To be able to run 171 miles across the desert, when James Eel never had that chance, I'm proud to do it. I'm glad the culture that we are showing the world, the race participants who are running these races with us, they see that. James spent 10 minutes talking about James Ian Jar of Hope and it just punched me in the heart. If you ask someone about Duchesne, they likely don't know what Duchesne is. You know, like running isn't his number one passion, but he does it for a really amazing cause. Before meeting Jim, I'd never heard about the disease that his little boy has. Duchesne, we can, we can stop it in its tracks. I used to see a man who was desperate, and now I'm realizing that what I thought was desperation was just a father doing anything he can to save his son. Whatever it takes. 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 Here's a jerky, jerky. Where's my jerky, jerky? Take, take oh, it. Oh, here it is. I like the one. Does this look stupid? We're gonna be there at oh, night. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Looks yeah, badass. Or we get there yeah. at night. All right. I want to look good for the camera.